What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Before we start the video, I just wanted to say that I really appreciate each and every one of you guys who supported the JB Built merch. It was actually a first merch. Um, I was kind of nervous but excited at the same time and this is something new to me. I've never done something like this before. I've been asked many times that when are you going to do shirts? When are you going to do stickers? When are you going to do this and that? Like back in the time, I never was really trying to push myself out there but being that I was starting to do a YouTube channel about a year ago and started to show you guys, you know, documents, everything about what was going through my life, through the projects, through cars, whatnot, you know, I think it was kind of like a good start, like I should do it and just try it out and see how it works out. And if it doesn't work out, then, you know, just move on and figure out something else. But thankfully, all you guys that supported the JV merch at the Island Wide Meet on the last event, sold at least about 40 this i say we sold about 50 60 shirts we sold maybe half the stickers and then after four days we sold everything like literally everything i think if if i could remember correctly i think i had like 105 shirts 20 stickers and that all sold out so that i really want to thank you guys so much for just the support and it just really really means a lot to me and it just makes me want to push harder for you guys and push harder for the channel and just show you guys more content hopefully i can show you guys more interesting stuff i know it might not be much though i try to spend money here to spend money there to just show you guys the the projects on you know trying to get Jalen's evil going get my evil going and i also want to show you guys something different today on the channel so which i'm really excited for because this is something i wanted to show you guys for a while now mostly the videos that are just my evil and jalen's evil but i want to show you guys something more and i want to kind of push this push this project as well too for next year so i'm looking forward to it anyways though the last time i meet was super insane guys if you guys wasn't there you guys missed out we had a super epic two-step i feel like this two-step got more intense the anti-lag two-step fire shooting out their exhaust it was just super crazy and a lot of new people that came to as well they enjoyed it and everything went well so that was pretty cool the limo contest was awesome as well too we did the hot wheels for the cakeys that was pretty awesome to have all the little kids come out have a great time you know we just bring them around the car community and you know grow that generation and carry that you know the memories that you know they had a great time and you know just enjoy everything you know delson he brought his six down merches as well too and he did a good job on his sales as well so he does have a lot more in stock so if you guys are interested i'll have his instagram down in the description box you guys can go ahead and contact him or mary hit him up support him support local me delson the collectivists and anybody who's participated on the idol one meet you know we wanted to thank each and every one of you guys for making this event happen if it wasn't for you guys then none of this wouldn't happen at all and we really appreciate it we're just trying to put big island on the map you know i know that there wasn't a really a lot going on you know the past years because we haven't had any car show not even at the event it felt like it was just more like just cruises and hanging out though but we wanted to throw something out there for you guys especially for now generations you know there's there's so many things that can really go on and we can make things happen for the for the big island and i just that was like my 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 goal two years ago just th thought about it and i did talk to bradley which is be exposed media the very first time we met at hangout they did a photo shoot together i did talk to him about how i want the big island to blow up and put a big island on the map show big island what we have car community has been just died out so long and then the, there isn't over any drive for other people to just you know find interest you know i feel like all that was all lost so after we did the first time with me we set that at a target then the second time we did it at tony honda then the third one we did it at tony honda again and every time we're gonna have the island with me it's just gonna be bigger and bigger i feel like there's gonna be more events or more things that are gonna happen you know we're just looking forward to it and you know we're just trying to have a great time just have fun just have everybody else come out car community meet new people check out people's build you know just help each other just grow that relationship grow that energy that vibe bringing back the aloha again you know that's what we're basically doing for you guys i want to thank you guys for all my subscribers who's been following me on the channel since day one it's been a long way guys uh it's crazy though over a year 
in two months. We're at about 70 videos. I'm already at 630 subscribers and it's just getting better and better. And hopefully I'm not boring you guys on the videos. I know I know that just basically is mostly all evils. I know that there isn't much here in the big island. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because it's gonna it's gonna be like a new project, kind of, maybe. Not too sure how far we're gonna get into it though, but this is just probably a start, how like we did on the evil. But I'm super excited about it because I also wanted to do something a little bit different besides showing you guys evil. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited for it. So let's get on today's video and then go from there. I've been driving Jalen's evil so many times just because this car is just feels so comfortable, so quiet, not as loud as mine. AC blows ice cold. It just feels real nice. Jalen only drove for Evo maybe I say three times since the whole time that we got the car and I don't know I've just been driving this car so many times and it just feels so comfortable I don't even want to drive mine <laughs> I mean I would I don't mind driving mine it's just I don't know this car just feels so nice and quiet it feels comfortable and this car is just a fishbowl there's no tint and there's no music which sucks so we still need to figure that out Man, I just feel comfortable driving her car a lot more than mine Maybe it's just hitting to that age. I'm actually in my last year in my 20s, so I'm kind of getting to that stage where like I don't want to drive mild cars. <laughs> but let's go ahead and drive to Walmart, get some oil, and then come back home, and then let's start working on today's video. Probably the first video that I ever show you guys probably working on my EG Civic on the first time on the channel and with that being said I know that we've been just so busy just working on the evils a lot on the channel but I want to go ahead and show you guys something different my Honda my first car since high school the car is too low for having my jack to fit underneath there so we need to put a block of wood so we can get on top jack up the car let's do it oil change and I wanted to go ahead and do some couple things on the car since because this is my daily and as I've been this car has been driving a lot I want to kind of go over through a lot of things and kind of do a walk around on my first car so let's go ahead and do that and get the oil change done So we got the oil change done start up the car run it for about five seconds put the dipstick wipe it check the oil level make sure it is leveled out of course that we were about a quart short so i went to go ahead and top it off now it's all good to go so the next thing i want to do is replace this climate control right there as you can see there is a screwdriver i know it's inside in the recirculation button so let me go ahead and explain to you what is going on i dealt with this issue for six to seven years ago and for some reason every time i turn on my ac it feels like the clutch is not engaging on the compressor so i ended up playing around with the climate control just to see what it was gonna do I end up pressing the circulation button on and off you know playing out that button on top there and then i noticed is that this is how i found out when i went to go ahead and press the recirculation button i pushed it all the way in you felt the clutch engage on the compressor and you can feel it on the car too while you're driving because it kind of adds on a little load on the car or on the engine 
So that's how I kind of figure it out. I took out the button, play around in the inside of the motherboard. I ended up just putting the screwdriver inside there, just kind of leverage in there. It kind of felt like maybe the motherboard is kind of separating on the connectors or something going on to where it's supposed to give signal to the AC compressor and then it kicks in the clutch. That right there that I've been running for years now. Only now is the time that I'm gonna go ahead and get that replaced with a replaceable climate control. I had this for like maybe two and a half years and good thing that I still have it was in my closet for the longest time and then we're gonna go ahead switch that over with the bad one in there. It's been a minute since I've worked on this car for a long time hopefully I still remember how to take that out like I said so let's go ahead and get that swapped out and then hopefully it will work Took a little bit longer than I really expected. I think I tried to remove the climate control before like 10 years ago and I couldn't figure out how to take it out. So here's a good view. So you got two screws on the front. Here's the bracket. So you got one screw right there, the other screw right there. And you have one here on the back on the plastic housing. And that's how you take it out. You got two plugs that you have to disconnect from the climate control. And then you go ahead and disconnect the cable off from the lever that is right there for I guess the blower motor. I know I didn't have to remove all this but good thing I did because I totally forgot that I didn't have any screws that is holding on to the cluster and I kind of want to just fill in on the missing screws that has been you know not there for the longest time so thankfully I went to go ahead and take that out so we're gonna go ahead and put in the new replacement put then everything back in double check on other screws that were missing because I kind of really want to clean up whatever the mess I did left years ago.
All right, we got everything back in. I accidentally broke the cover here for the hour, minute, and reset on the clock. So the only way to get a replacement is to find another one, another clock, or find a spare part for this cover. But other than that, though, everything else is nice and secured. I got the two screws here that is holding up on this section. It was just hanging and wasn't secured. And every time the car is an idle the thing starts to vibrate and starts hitting the dashboard well i have innovative mounts on top on the car so everything else is super solid pretty much got all the screws as much as i can there's button up in some areas back on the car we got the new replacement climate control so i'm gonna go ahead and start the car turn on the ac make sure it works making sure everything else works on top there as well so let's go ahead and start it also i need to replace that too common problem for the civics to always break Yep, so let's... Nice. I don't know if you guys heard, but you can hear that the clutch engage on the air compressor. Go ahead and go through everything. Okay, air is coming out from the bottom. Just gonna feel it from the top. That's working. And then let's change this. And you can feel this speed of the blower motor when lower Just press the AC button okay turn it back on nice damn that feels so good right now everything is running good AC is running properly how it should now let's go ahead and drive the car down I'm gonna go ahead and put some gas you can see it's empty but like I said, this is my daily. It's what I use to drive to Manalani. It's like about 30 minutes from my place over there. And yeah, I want to go ahead and show you guys a uh, walk around on this car. I know you guys never really seen the car on the channel. If you guys follow me on Instagram, well, I barely post any pictures or videos on my Civic either. But I want to go ahead and just show you guys, you know, bring the bring the EG Coupe into the channel, show you guys. And I really want to do some mods here. I really want to do some things that I want to really take care of on this car. This car has been my high school car. First car since back in 2006. I'm the third owner. And yeah, I want to go ahead and explain to you everything. So let's go ahead and just put some gas, find a spot, and then we can do a walk around on it. Check out the sunset here guys, so gorgeous every single time here in Hawaii, you can't beat the view, look how beautiful that is, sick, well overall found a spot so where we can go ahead and talk about everything that is on my car, so let's go, let's start with this, this is my 95 Honda Civic DX, originally the motor came with a D15B7 non VTEC, as of right now, the motor inside the car has a B16A2. I'll go ahead and show you guys later. But let's go ahead and tackle the exterior. Front lip is replica Type R. Clear corner lights, 15 inch of TE37 replicas. Tires on here are 195.50. I have EK side skirts, spoon mirrors replica, smoke tin tail light. I have an OEM wing that came out from an EX model. Pretty much about it on the outside. Here's everything in the bay. It is the B16A2 that comes off on the 2000 EM1. This is a Mugen valve cover. Pretty sure this is replica. Transmission is a LS, sadly. DC Sport headers is a 421. AEM fuel rail, stock injector, CTR intake manifold. Here is the password JDM intake, which they call them the whale penis. Innovative mounts all around. It does have a GSR cam shaft and I had, it, I had the valve adjustment to spec. Car runs solid, runs really good. I got the Megan Racing Struck Bar, 
do have a traction bar underneath on the car it has a hid 55 watt that i'm running it's a 5k everything else on the car is all original from pretty much factory car is tuned on chrome chip on p28 ecu tuned from my friend filipinas we did the car on street tune this car never seen a dyno i never had any of my cars went on a dyno before so not too sure how much power it makes it probably did like maybe over 150 horsepower i did took it on the track i did my best time uh 15.3 uh not i can't remember how fast the car went though but it did good the diff and the third gear is kind of already messed up on the transmission so i know that the car the car only does like one tire fire it used to do two not anymore though but we are we do have a transmission that i'm waiting for my cousin it is the b16 si trans so i'm waiting on him so we can go ahead and swap out the ls trans gear ratio is gonna be freaking way shorter and of course a lot better as well too this is pretty much here i got this whole swap auto from a delso from my wife's cousin gave me a super good deal i'll have some pictures on top on the video but he gave me a super good deal like i said i spent a thousand dollars on the car pretty much everything that i needed did the swap and it's been about 2017 the motor hasn't even given me any issue at all ran top shape the only thing that is kind of wrong is that when you do a startup on cold start you can hear it knocking and the oil light pressure comes on but after that once it gets oil pressure it just kind of goes away but it's been like that for that long i don't think i'm gonna do anything with it honestly i'm hoping that next year that we can actually swap this motor out and go something different i got this car from my auntie back in 2006 so it had like about 218,000 miles so I had it back in high school. This is my first car, third owner. Car run top shape from through high school to college, driving from the other side of the island, racing in Mexico, this and that. And then I ended up doing a Z6 Mini Me. I'll have the picture show on top on the video. Ran that for like about three, four years. I blew like about maybe four or five head gasket. For some reason, the head gasket gets all warped up. I'm pretty sure it was just a block that got worn out. We resurfaced the cylinder head. We put the proper head bolts. I don't know if putting the ARP head studs would have kind of helped though, but it was just kind of like not good. Overall though, did race, had a slight knock after that. Original block held all the way up to 452,000 miles. And I can say that the car right now on the body itself has 500,000 miles. There is some rust here and there on like the common next to the antenna the roof and i'm having one on the driver's side close to the outer tail light so it is what it is the car is a 95 it is really really old but i am planning to just restore this car as much as i can because i really don't want to let go of this car this car has been really good to me and like i said it's my first car don't want to get rid of it and i have a, like bigger bigger plans that i want to do to the car in the future so here in the interior it's not really too much though we do have the original door panels, dashboard, do have a quick release. This is like a replica Momo steering wheel I just got off from eBay. I get the auto meter air free ratio. This came off from the Delson when I picked it up. And water temperature. I have the EX cluster with the clock. JDM console right here. I do not have the armrest. I took it out. I have the OEM floor mats besides on the driver's side. Stock seat, stock rear seat. I have the C-pillar bar right there. But overall, nothing really special inside the car. The interior is nice. For suspension, the front has a Tokiko Aluminum R. It has a damper adjustment and the rear has H&R drawspring. I did have a Tokiko blue struts on coil lowers, but they keep blowing out. And the only spare parts that I had was the H&R drawstring on a stock strut. Front and rear camera kits. And I do have the function form LCA and I don't have a muffler. My stock muffler broke off. So I do have an extra exhaust that I want to go in and throw on the car. I probably forgot like all the parts or anything that was done to the car for for a long time. I haven't even really been like going th like even trying to update anything on the car. Like you know I've just been so busy just working on the Evos that I totally forgot how to even work on my own Honda. Which is crazy though but it is what it is. The car like it's not perfect. It does need a lot a lot of work. But I'm just very grateful that I still have this car to this day. And, you know, I'm the third owner. And what's the crazy part is that, you know, my auntie had this car back in high school. And I was a baby. I was like probably two, three years old when she first got the car. And a long ago, she just passed it on to me. And then, yeah, it's been... 
hell of a good ride. Look, I got the car for free back in 2006. Like I said, me and my dad fixed it and that's been become a high school car and has been my whole car since to this day. My wife knows that I'm not gonna sell the car. I don't wanna sell the car. You know, this car is really reliable and really awesome to me and there's nothing that I really wanna give up on. There is hope, there is dream. I have faith in it. And one day we're gonna send this car to the moon. I really wanna do a K. I've always wanted to do a K so bad. I did have a K28 too with the trans cable shifter. Pretty much just all like the simple thing that I needed to do to do the swap back in 2015 is when I had all that. But then I sold it to get a 2014 Honda Accord for my family. That was really needed and I must say it was the best decision because I needed a family car and my family was riding in here. Two boys, wife and me it was a no-no. But we hanged on into it and got ourselves a family car and it was really really helpful i hope i can show you guys more things on the channel with my eg i really want to show like i, I really want to go ahead and start doing some stuff on it already just kind of get away from the evil cars for now that way i can actually have fun working on my honda if you guys really know me all my friends out there and family you guys know like this car went through so many things i held on to it so, like for so long and it's just been she's been really really awesome and i really don't want to give up on her and you know it's an og car you know i don't want to give up on it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys like the video hit that like button drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think about my car hit the subscribe button if you guys are not following the channel and hit the notification button for upload contents so hopefully i can bring you guys more content on my eg i really want to hit the dyno on this car to see how much horsepower it actually makes you know what the setup is hope you guys enjoyed the video aloha and i'll see you guys in the next one